Welcome to Part 3 of the Fundamentals of Excel 2010. In the preceding video, we saw how to enter in a simple equation into an Excel spreadsheet. We also saw how to use the autofill command to fill an equation down into some other cells. For example, I'm going to go ahead and delete these two examples here. And I needed to fill this total into these two cells down below. Instead of typing the equation in, what I can simply do is select that cell and then drag down. Again, I click on that cell, point at the autofill handle, and drag over. And that automatically fills the equation in. Now, I'm going to go ahead and undo those two items there really quickly. And let's take a look at this contents of this cell. If I click on that cell, I can see the equation right up here on my formula line, or if I double click on it, it actually will appear in the cell. And you can see the equation here is equal sum and then B4 to D4. The range here is B4 to D4. Now, when I autofill that down into the next cell, I don't want it to autofill the exact formula in. What I want it to do is I want it to autofill what it does. In other words, this should total the three cells to the left. So when I autofill this down, you're going to see that Excel updated the references for me. Instead of B4 to D4, since I moved the equation down one row, it became B5 to D5. And this is what's known as a relative reference. Relative references are as opposed to absolute references. Let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and autofill this one over one more time to show you there. And just autofill that over. And you'll see this is C4 to C6. It's totaling the cells above it. And that was updated from B4 to B6. So relative references are really useful if you're going to be using autofill or copy and paste to move an equation from one place or to copy an equation from one place to another. Now, absolute references also are very important in Excel. You use an absolute reference when you don't want the reference to update. So in other words, when we autofill this down, we wanted B4 to become B5. We wanted D4 to become D5. But let's say there was part of an equation that we didn't want to update. For example, I'm going to click right here, and I'm going to go ahead and type commission. So this cell is going to hold the commission. And the commission is going to be based on their total sales. Now, I could hard code something in. I could type in equals and then the cell reference here, which is E4, times, which is an asterisk, and let's say we're going to give them a 10% commission. And then I can type 10% in. I hit enter. There's their commission. And I can autofill it down, and you'll see the result. Now the problem is that if the commission rate ever changes, I have to go manually find every place that I use that rate and manually update it. So here's the solution to that. Instead of making the commission rate in this case a static value that's hard coded into the formula, I'm going to come here and I'm going to go ahead and just type rate. And then I'm going to type 10% in cell B9. So whatever is in cell B9 is going to be the commission rate. Now I'm going to type equals E4 times, and instead of 10%, I'm going to go ahead and select that cell, B9, and that gives me the commission. And now if I change the commission rate, you're going to see that the calculation automatically updates itself. Now I'll go ahead and click on that cell and autofill it down. And you're going to see I got zero for both those values. And the reason for that is, both of these are relative references. Just like before, when we autofilled this value down, E4 became E5. In this case, we wanted that to occur. However, B9 became 
B10 or the cell below it. Since the cell below it is empty, that comes through as a zero, and anything times zero is zero. So what we actually need to do is we need to make this an absolute reference, or tell Excel, don't change this cell, even if I copy it somewhere else. To do that, what you do is you put dollar signs before both the column and the row. So dollar sign B, dollar sign 9 makes that reference absolute. If you were just to do B dollar sign 9, the column is relative and the row is absolute. Or dollar sign B9, that's a common mistake, makes the column absolute and the row relative. Most of the time what you're going to do is you're just going to have it be entirely absolute. So you'll put both dollar signs in. And I'll hit enter. And now when I autofill that value down, you're going to see I actually get commission rates there. And if I change this value here, you'll see that they update. When I double click on the cell, you'll see E4 became E5, but B9 remained constant because of the absolute reference. As we go through this course, you're oftentimes going to see cases where we need to use an absolute reference. So always be looking for those dollar signs and know that it doesn't have anything to do with currency or dollar amounts. It's just making that reference absolute.